The theme of this year's Holocaust Memorial Day is ordinary people. I think all of us in this chamber can imagine ourselves being victims of the Holocaust, but few of us could imagine ourselves being perpetrators of the Holocaust. Unless we understand that both victims and perpetrators were ordinary people who led ordinary lives, then we run the risk ourselves of Holocaust distortion. Across Europe today, we are seeing collaborators rehabilitated as national resistance leaders. History is being rinsed and countries are recasting themselves as Nazi victims. The Holocaust and the subsequent genocides show that ordinary people have choices. I think it's up to all of us to ensure that those choices that we make today and tomorrow ensure that our statement of never again is not a single empty pledge. I wish that today's debate was anchored in the past and that anti-Semitism was, was not a contemporary matter that required your noble lord's attention, but I'm afraid it is. The Holocaust should have been a uni unique moment in our global history. It should have shaken the world at its core. And for many of us in this place today, I'm sure that's exactly what it's done. And Holocaust Memorial Day provides us all within a moment of reflection to remind us of where political rhetoric and hate can lead. It gives us an opportunity to challenge our own behaviour and asks us to recommit to challenging racism, hate and bigotry everywhere we see it. Which brings me to the world we live in today. Many of my noble lords have already touched upon the scourge of anti-Jewish hate, which seems far too prevalent in modern society. In recent weeks, we have seen the National Union of Students forced to accept that their culture is hostile to Jewish students. We've seen numerous stories about the antics of Kanye West um, and his attacks on the Jewish community. My lords, it is 2023, and this ancient hatred is in the newspapers nearly every day. Around the world, there are over 300, some say thousands, of Holocaust memorials, and in the UK, at least six. All the while, anti-Semitism is growing rapidly and fearfully, not least among the young. Yet these students have had compulsory Holocaust education at school. It seems to have taught them nothing, except that one can attack Jews most hurtfully by using Nazi symbols. And this is why. It is taught as an event of the past, over there, all done with, nothing to do with us. The dotted line is not drawn between remembering the Holocaust, which we have done in many recordings by survivors and museums, and the anti-Semitism of today. I worry that historians, and therefore also politicians, underestimate the impact that the Spanish flu had on society in the 20s and the 30s. History tells us clearly that pandemics cause inflation and they cause war. We see that today. But I fear that pandemics also scar society in a deep, visceral way that war on its own doesn't. As the world comes out of COVID, we are seeing inflation. We are seeing war. We are seeing anger, frustration and fear. So I would argue, my Lords, that never has it been more important that we remember and learn from the horrors of the Holocaust. Holocaust Memorial Day is a time to remember. Think of the millions of lives and then think of each one of them and how they could have changed this world for the better. Remember them not as numbers, but as one would remember one's own loved ones. Remember them and recall how minorities are still today misrepresented as a threat when all they want to do is to live their lives according to the same laws as everyone else. History demands <coughs> that we stand with the most defamed, the most misrepresented, the most unfavoured. It equally demands that we speak against those who portray people in need as a swarm, a threat and an invasion. We do Holocaust remembrance a disservice if we remember the dead and forget the present persecution of Jewish people across the world. The base level of anti-Jewish hatred remains far too high, my lords, and may even be worsening among young people. 
So I'm proud of my department and many others in government that are supporting the, educational, the Holocaust Educational Trust to work with universities across the country in challenging the scourge of anti-Semitism. But as we've heard from Baroness Anderson and others, we need to do more, my lords. When we look at the current conflicts across the globe, especially what's happening in Ukraine, it can be tempting to throw up our hands and resign ourselves to humanity's endless capacity for cruelty. But it's also in those moments that we need to remember all of those murdered during the Holocaust and subsequent genocides. We need to remember the survivors, the witnesses who have never given up, who continue to share their, share their testimonies today. My Lords, we owe it to all of them to remember. Yeah. Yeah.